Aye, great chiefess. My crew is the very best. We, we will sail the seas, and we will find you the grandest whale to slay. Please do, and more than one. I do want to make a profit off of this thing after all. Of course, milady. We will not return until we have taken the carcasses of many of the great beasts of the sea. Hello and welcome, connoisseurs of Crusader Kings 3 and friends of the New World. We are here once again with Chief Disgrace of Magdalene. We made good moves to assure the future of our line and our son. We've done everything that we, we wanted to to set this up, so now it's time to continue. We are waiting for some money because we want to do a whale hunt. Thought about doing a normal hunt, but I think a whale hunt will be better. We want our son to be a little older before we land him. We'll probably land him... Well, it is essential that we land him before we die. But we're still young. We do take risks, though. Zachary's first in robing. <laughs> you know, he's not... He's not a little... It's fine. Look at his hair. <laughs> ah, this kid. So he's the Prince of Fashion. Now yeah, he's going to be the Prince of Fashion now. That's fine. I love it. <laughs> what a kid. What a kid. So we have a, a good doctor. We have a good caravan master. So most of our positions are filled really well. We have a decent wet nurse, which is also nice. Should make it so that our kids are less likely to get sick. There's a lifestyle perk for Marshall. We're going to take envelopment because we're just going down to strategist before we switch over to learning. And then in learning, we want to get the ability to lower the price of converting faith. That's important to us. We are completely unknown, but we won't be unknown forever. That's for sure. Good. Ten more gold and we will be able to do some other stuff. Is there anybody weak around us that we could raid over here? Because there's no reason for us not to raid. That's too strong. That's too strong. Ah, this guy's not strong, though. I don't really want to send out my ships unless we're going to get it to hit at least a couple locations, though. Right? They've been raided. How strong is she? Weaker than us? We could raid on Prince Edward Island if no one's done it yet. Nope, it's been raided. Alright, what about over here? In the kingdom. Too strong. We could... We could raid the Mikwa Terio Mi'kmaq territory over here. He's not that strong. How how much of his territories are already raided? Not raided. Raided. So we could raid this island here. We could raid up along here as well. She's like near our strength, but not quite our strength. I think we raid up along here. Maybe grab the island on the way home. We should talk about our culture and our current religion. So our current religion basically believes in spirits. They think that a man named Brother Jack went into the sea in order to bring the fish back after they were all killed by the Great War. And they believe that that also caused fairies and spirits to return to the land. So that's that's their belief. So they have patron gods, ritual hospitality, and melodic transmission. Our culture, Nufi, has life as a joke, wild hunts, which is how we get our Jolly Rovers. Also allows Dutchy Tier or lower people to raid over seas. 
regardless of government. And we have Dexter's Fisherman. Tribal unity, which is basically all of... It's, it's family unity more than it is tribal. It's quite interesting. And then, of course, experienced whalers, which is what allows us to do the whales and gives us less sea danger. But we are going to do another raid, because I think raiding is essential. We'll also get to know the people around us. Our husband is a chowder folk. They come from down this way in New England. They're cosmopolitan. They're Yankees. They have town councils. They have Yankee ingenuity, which is pretty cool. So they have, they maintain their armies better and they have lower men at arms, but their knights are less effective. They build castles better. They're heavy infantry and heavy cavalry and spearmen and elephants are less. It's really interesting. They have beacon of learning. So they're more likely to be pensive. They can appoint the court scholar position. And guardians of their culture are more likely to give better education traits to their wards. That's actually very useful because he is going to, of course, be training our son. Because our son needs to change his religion. So we will educate you. You will do it. Educate our son, and you will convert their faith, but not their culture. Good. And let's... Let's start raiding. I'm gonna go right in here. Start our raiding here, and then we'll go across and get these... T these... Maybe this as well? How strong is this guy? Not that strong. What about this guy? Is he strong? No, not really. So, I think... Oh, something's happened. Uh, why did you leave? Uh, maybe there's been a funeral. Maybe he's just away for the funeral. Well, we'll put, uh, we'll put Wolf Ray back in and see if, if her husband returns or if he continues to be a stray. Let's just assume he is going home to visit his family since his father just died and he's not abandoning his children. I really hope he's not abandoning his children. She ain't gonna put up with it, and neither am I. We're gonna raid here. And then we're just gonna go... Chick Chocks. Down this way. Okay, let's... Sit here. Prisoner taken in siege. Let's ransom you. For ten gold. Very good. Ten gold is good gold. All gold is good gold. It is expensive to go to sea for these raids, but uh, hopefully we make enough to make it worthwhile. I think it will be. I have been corresponding with your Chancellor Wolfrey, and it has been a shame. <sighs> Wolfrey. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? You ever gonna return? Because, I mean... You have children. Y you have children. We're at 33 of 133. Oh, 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 oh. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. We need... We need to stop. Okay. We're gonna need to come home. Can we not negotiate? We can negotiate the alliance back with you because your brother is still married to our daughter. Let's let that happen. How strong are you? Not really very, actually. Um. Good. Now we're gonna we're gonna call on our ally. And what is he trying to do? That's not a thing that's happening. So our ally will do the work, hopefully at the start. Our ally is stronger than him, so hopefully they can handle this while we finish our raid. I think they'll be able to. 
I'm pretty sure that that'll turn out good for us. I don't know. <laughs> it's the exactly kind of thing you don't want to happen the second that you're out to, to raid, is that somebody decides to take your stuff. Fire and blood. Okay. We could capture sl slaves. That could be very useful. Bring me bounteous plunder. This could mean we could return home sooner. <sighs> the progress is really useful, though. No, we're going to take the bounteous plunder, and then we're going to use that as our reasoning to return immediately home. And we'll land right there on the peninsula. You, he might be... Might be being weird, so maybe we land on the island. Our, um... Our ally might be able to do the... The, the defense of the land, right? Because he might be trying to be sneaky. And, like... Hit the island. And if he is, we want to... Counter-sneak him, if you know what I mean. Oh, we're pregnant again. Very good. Very, very good. So he's fully committed himself to this. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> he's changed his mind. <laughs> That's fine. Our glory is now widely known. We've made 95 gold and 95 prestige in that raid. And up here in the north, our ally is uh, it's doing his work. I think we're going to take to the sea because we have enough money to afford taking to the sea again. It's 10 gold. We don't want to spend this 10 gold, but we have no choice, really. We want to stop his siege while our ally does the work in the north. I'm really glad we set up this alliance with Grossmorn, but I sure hope that guy comes back. Or at least takes his family to him. I still think you should return to your wife, but whatever. Are you going to try to run away? Yeah, that's, that's a mistake. Our Screecher was wounded. Our husband has been wounded again. Can the doctor handle it appropriately this time? Maybe? You know? He's scarred from the last one. He keeps get oh, one of our Valiant Soldiers has, man has managed to wound this guy who has the same name as my son. We have won our battle here. He broke his siege for reasons that I do not understand. That's fine. And I don't see why he did it, but uh, it'll be okay in the end, you know. We'll we'll help him siege it. You know, our armies combined together will probably make it faster anyway. It's gonna pop up on the capital and get destroyed by us again, which is really not good for him. I would say this was a terrible, terrible investment of man manpower for him, like. Uh, it is. I don't know if we should be leading an army when we're pregnant, but uh, we're just that kind of lady, I guess. It's just a little who we are. We are going to take this. We want to take this while we still have the money to buy the second duchy title. So you woke up and now you're heading down to do a siege here again? That's fine. We will... Actually, don't have enough troops to do that. Mm. I think we'll finish the siege long before he does. We've already broken the walls down. I don't want to leave because I don't want my um, ally to be pulled away. And we have a daughter. All right, so Isla, Heather, Nina. Let's make her Nina. So our children are Dwight and Nina. Wonderful, our new children. Of course, we have our old children still and they'll do fine. They'll have good lives, right? Right. Yeah, I think this war is going to be over before he can finish this. I think we're going to siege his only place of residence, and that's going to make things a little bit difficult for him when it comes to continuing his battle plans. This was a mistake on his part. I think he tried to take advantage of the fact we were out raiding like we did when we raided him. But, uh, no chance. Siege complete. Siege complete. There we go. 100% enforce demands, disband all. Thank you for the money, sir. It was very nice of you. We are going to do our whale hunt now. Where is it? 
compose a verse. That's cool. I like that. But uh, I do want to. I, I want to do all the things we can do. We, but I don't want to spend 100 gold on that right now. Right now we're sponsoring a whale hunt, okay? So search for some seasoned whalers. Let's do it. The whalers set off. We Newfies have hunted whales for as long as anyone can remember. These creatures, or more correctly, their carcasses, are a useful source of blubber for oil and meat. Even a great high chieftainess, chieftess such as myself, am aware of the potential profitable, if risky, nature of the whaling business. Thus, I have decided to sponsor a number of whalers to go and find and hunt these majestic beasts, and a good share of the profit from whatever they manage to collect will go to me. Some whalers prefer to go out to sea and hunt whales there, while others stick to lurking into coastal areas where they can be trapped. Of course, I should manage my expectations carefully, as not every hunting trip returns successfully. However, I am confident that the whalers I have employed will do more than an acceptable job. Excellent. So we have sponsored... Whalers. And we have won our war. Whalers return! The Newfie whalers I recently sent to hunt for whales have returned. Thankfully, these whalers successfully hunted down some whales. Once we contact nearby merchants, we can sell the meat as well as the blubber for oil and ship them to ports elsewhere. Anyways, as I congratulate the whal whalers on a job well done, I assess how much profit we'll make from their kills. The whalers managed to kill a decent number of whales. Not only was it enough to pay back the costs of the whole trip, but we've made quite a decent profit. I can't complain much about the result and am glad that I found a team of competent whalers. Oh, well, I mean, it was only a little bit of money. We got a bountiful whale hunt, which gives us development and popular opinion. Very nice. And we're, we got... That went great. I feel good about that. I mean, it wasn't a big profit, but, you know, it was... We made our money back, right? That's actually kind of really exciting. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that was so exciting. I gotta declare war on this poor guy. Um... I don't need to take his territory from him, though. But if I take the territory from him, it's more for my children, right? I should wait till my troops regenerate. Possibly I should st spend some of my newfound prestige to increase my military strength as well. Let's see. I like the idea of light horsemen. Let's look at our culture. What is our culture working on, anyway? This is Morgan Le Fay, by the way. He's obviously a witch. Um. Anyway, we were looking at we were looking at our culture. So our culture is working on quilted armor and billeting. Billeting is cool because it gives you enforcers, which are like a type of pikemen. They're pretty cool pikemen at that. But that's a long way off, obviously. So. I mean, I like the Jolly Rovers. They're like a really cool unit. 15 strength, they counter archers as well as heavy infantry, but I think we need something stronger. Pikemen, bowmen, I think pikemen, no, light horsemen, I think. Light horsemen? Yeah, I think, I think horsemen are a good idea. I don't want to go too hard until we have an idea of what we could actually maintain. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully this turns out good for us. I would really like for this to turn out good for us. We have all the screechers we need, right? We do. And they're all above seven, right? Yeah, our two, our lowest one is her at seven. I don't know if I want my spy master to be a screecher. Let's see if we can find someone to marry. So we've got this un unmarried still. Levi will find a spouse for you. Make sure that we're only looking at women. We can go by prowess. Oh, she is strong. She's gate heal, which means she's from uh, this area. She's from she's from uh, Tiramara. Hi, Ramara, maybe? I mean, she's 44. 
Which means she's not going to have any children. What is the second one? It's a 13. She's French. She's Quebecois. She's a 9. She's a fog son Inu. So she's like one of the Inuit groups. It's hard to overlook her. But I would prefer for it to be someone that he could maybe eventually have children with. Right? No, we're going to marry him to Ev. For sure. I think that's better for him. There's at least a chance they have kids. I mean, it's not high because they're not landed, but it's still... The, the possibility exists, which is kind of what we want. We have now built ourselves up to a pretty strong military for our size, which is good. Don't know how well we'll be able to maintain it. We won't be keeping this military, that's important to note, because this will go to our heir. Um, our heir... ...is not going to be our heir, right? <laughs> it's gonna go to our, uh, our actual heir. The Walls of Grindstone. The delegation from Grindstone slowly files out of my private chambers, our long meeting finally over. The petitioners beg for money to repair the crumbling walls of the holding, and have invoked my lordly duty to help them. I drum my fingers on the table, pondering whether to send them funds. Good fortifications are hideously expensive. Of course, if the walls are crumbling anyway, then I could always divert their existing stipend to more personal matters. My money is for me. I shall supervise the reconstruction personally. So this is stress just because it's hard to do. We have a decent chance to succeed at this and it will give us martial experience. We have less than a 40% chance to fail. This gives us steward experience to just pay for it. They get professionally built walls for 20 years as opposed to the adeptly built walls. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to take the chance. You successfully rebuild the walls. Nice. Okay, that was that was a good investment, I think. Personal time instead of money is much 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 better. Whew. This is after all going to be the uh <laughs> the land of our of our child, right? This is where they're going to live. Where are we at here? Still quite a ways before we've capped off the Light Horseman. Pregnant again? Good. <sighs> Happy about that. You know, I think we might just... Maybe we should... Hmm. I'm just thinking. We might want to bring in somebody. We have, do we have a court tutor? We don't. We might want to bring in a court tutor who is chowder folk or fathomless in general, because if we can bring in a fathomless court tutor, we can use them to train the rest of our children as well. So let's look for someone who is unmarried and of age, not our son. Do our chancellor. And we're looking for someone who is fathomless. It's nobody. Nobody, no fathomless people will marry him. That sucks. Right then, we need a court tutor. So we're just going to put someone in his court tutor who's good. We have Harriet Connors. That's the the woman who came because she thought we had a university, which uh, we don't, but we will someday, maybe. Well, I mean, at least we're going to have a holy site, right? Let's continue. Nickname, the brave. Of course we're brave. Wait, why are we not pregnant in this picture, but pregnant in this picture? I don't know. I don't know, game. Oh, because we're so, because it's so early that it's hard to tell. That's why. It's just that the the classic painting pregnancy position is making it look like we have more of a belly than we do. He is going to do something with his troops. I think I think he knows what's coming. 
I got a feeling he knows what's coming. Well, you know... I guess the fact we won't exchange hostages with him. Potential recruit to court. A distinguished person has arrived at my court seeking employment. Well known all over the local community of Cornerbrook. She now offers her fairly significant skills to me. All she asks for is a small advance payment. Ella is a distinguished member of the local minority Muslim community, and employing her would establish me as a cosmopolitan ruler. However, at some court, some at court might look down on employing a heathen. I mean, I am more religiously open-minded than some people are. I know they're courture. I mean, I could use another decent knight, at very least. She's actually a better commander than me. Probably not a better commander than me in execution because of my bonus for commanding my own armies, but probably a better commander than me. Like, just, like, her knowledge is higher than mine. So we are, we're getting some faith in the bank. We're getting some stuff done, you know, it's good. Just standing his troops here. It's kind of a waste of money, man. Yeah, you, you got this idea in your head that I'm coming to attack you? Is that what's happening? Oh, we lost the baby. Well, you know, that's too bad. It's probably all of the physical labor that we do. Love the fact that she puts her hair up, but then when she goes into her warrior garb, she puts it down in like warrior braids. That's 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 very cool to me. I really like that. Like very cool combat engineers. Siege process uh, progress will definitely be useful in the coming battle. One more month, and we will have all of our new light horsemen ready, equipped, and trained for battle, which is super cool. Super cool. We're gonna have our Jolly Rovers and our Light Horsemen here to... to make our presence known. It is kinda too bad that they're all going to the wrong child, but you know, that's how things go, right? We're trying to create a future for... for our daughter. He's still at home. Hmm. Well, that's kinda how things go. His father died, so we went home. Makes sense, really. He'll probably return when I am done with the world. Let's... Let's do this thing, I think, right? It's time to do this thing? It is. I'm sorry, man, but... It's gotta be what it's gotta be, man. I'm sorry. I really am. But you hold territory we need to, in order to, uh... ...get a title essential to the future of... ...our dynasty, the Laverties. They need to be able to hold territory. Let's see how this goes. Sinalk, it's the Battle of Sinalk. We are winning. Oh, Eve or Ev? Eve was wounded twice. That's not great. Who is this guy? Um, let's see. Is he good for us to keep? He's a nine. He would replace this eight. Let's see if he'll do it. He will not convert. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. These strange Catholics do not... I don't think so. We'll hold them to the end and we will... We'll let him go for a hook at the end of the end of the war. But we don't need to rush him out there, and we he's not good enough for me to force it. One morning I am getting ready to face my day. My son Zachariah approaches me. Mother, we found this while exploring the northern tower yesterday. You should have it. He hands over a small tattered coin pouch. 
It makes a jingling sound. Oh, Fifteen gold. Fifteen gold. Very nice, son. I mean, you probably could have kept that for yourself. But I understand the gesture. It's very kind of you. And you're a good kid. Right now, I'm conquering a county that you will keep. Once all this is over. Yep. <sighs> yep, yep, yep. Okay. This war is over. I think I think we we're doing good by the uh, the children of our first spouse. I think that, that you can't say that we have we've done ill by them. You know. Somebody's attacking me. Oh, they I I'm going to enforce my demands now to minimize the harm that comes from this coming battle. Gained fame. Very nice. Let's disband all. Should now be able to buy this duchy title. And become a high chieftain twice. Yes, I can definitely do that. Good. I would love to vassalize him. We could probably make that happen just by swaying him. Right? I think we can convince him. We have new men at arms to place. These are our horsemen. We're going to place them here. Great. Good, good, good. My daughter Naomi needs a guardian. This we can decide what she what we do with her based on her education trait. I guess you can do it. Now, for some reason my husband is not guardian to Oh, we never put our daughter under him. This is my daughter, right? Yes, we need to convert her faith. Yes. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Excellent. So we have, we have now created the situation that we were attempting to create. We will make this our primary title as things stand right now he's getting the duchy title but that's not actually going to be happening but we don't want our son to be independent until he is older if we get sick or we think anything bad is going to happen to us we might might quickly put him in charge i'd like for his faith to change first though if it's possible to get that to happen uh, now that we have finished our wars, we're going to start doing some more, you know, developmental stuff. Let's do a hunt. Falconry. Hunt. We're going to do a regular hunt. It's going to go right here. No reason to go further. We're going to make it small. So an intimate hunt. Would I rather have the extra people? I'm just looking at the travel sites. Looking at all the different travel sites is all. Anyway, we're, we're, we're getting distracted. We're getting distracted by the, the travel sites that exist. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Okay, we're gonna um, do our hunt here. We're going to do it to slay the beast because that's the kind of woman we are. We don't need to bring anybody with anything else with us. We're going to use a regular size. You know, I think we're going to actually do attendance too. Why not? Let's make it a thing. Let's make it an actual thing. <laughs> right? Right. Can I... Oh, I wish we could... I wish just a little bit more and he would come. What about you? No. Nope. Fine, fine, fine. fine. A fresh start. Let's go. I think we're going to have an excellent time out here. That's, that's how I feel about it. 
Hunt making camp. Did we succeed with him the first time? Yes. We will probably... Probably get this from Opinion. I think there's lots of room left in Opinion for us to do that. Hunt making camp. We await the arrival of the rest of the guests. My servants can get started on the preparations soon. Soon we shall go for a hunt. Our husband is here. Our ex-husband is here. Ella is here. All right. This will be good. May assembles the party as the sun rises over the camp in the taiga near Stephenville. The local gamekeepers have scored the vicinity for recent tracks and fumes. They clearly... There is clearly a stout boar in the area. Dangerous but worthy game. Let's get out there. Let's get out there. Let's do it. My lady, there's the boar. My husband, High Chieftain Barnbass, gestures for me to follow him into the dense undergrowth. But what about the boar? Uh, we're here to hunt. I mean, you are an amazing man, but we're here to hunt, okay? We need to stay focused on the hunt. Back away, Sona. Sully, I saw nothing. So these two, these two are having a little entanglement. This is Wolf Ray. And this is Harriet Connors. Did you just, you just marry her? Right? Right? I don't understand how she's not in the list. That seems weird. Okay, that's weird. Maybe you can't just marry her. Maybe... Maybe there's some... Some reason you can't marry her? And she isn't married. Maybe I just can't find her in the list. And it's just that she's too old. Yeah, she's too old. It's fine. Have your fun. This is a disgrace, he says at once. Back away slowly. I saw nothing. I saw nothing. It's okay, it has nothing to do with me. A courtier may is the first to spot its sharpened tusks. After it, we ride. We ride. Let's do it. 54% chance of success. We could drive the rabble out of the hunting grounds. Hmm. Peasants denied forest gives us minus 30. Ah, oh, we could just pay them. We're just gonna pay them. Ah. That's no good. With a 60% chance, too. Well, you can't always get lucky. We got lucky on the whale hunt, so... Let's leave this adventure behind. We gained the hunter trait, which is good. That's good for future success. And some more prestige to add to our prestige pile. We'll finish the hunt, and we will head home. What an excellent time. Our son here is now three years old. Very good. Very, very good. Hopefully I live long enough for him to make it to adulthood. Dwight's first steps. I hear a commotion from my son Dwight's chambers. Hastening inside, I see the wet morse Molly is playing with Dwight. My liege, perfect timing. Dwight just took his first steps. She shouts excitedly. Holding my boy's hands, she tries to walk him around the room. A giant step for a child, a small step for a ruler. What else can he do? I don't think... I mean, I am diligent. Diligent is a trait that kind of does validate the fact we would push him. Let's do it. A little stress for the kid isn't going to hurt him too much. Right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's good for him. Pushing himself a little is good for him. Where are we at with you? Nothing has changed. 
We could give him a gift, which might just make this happen immediately. We could host him as an honored guest. Let's do that. That, that pushes it over. Let's offer vassalage to him. Excellent. So we now control our whole duchy. Very nice. What is required to become the king of Newfoundland? Six counties. No, we're not pushing towards that right now. We're not pushing towards that. That's not our goal. We do not want to become queen of Newfoundland. Okay, that's, that's not a thing we're doing. We are still trying to make things work out down here, though. We need to get our culture entrenched, and we need to get control underway. But, I mean, becoming the queen of Newfoundland could solve our problems in a different way. With a Tanistry election. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not the plan. Maybe that's the plan later. I think we should consider a feast, maybe? <sighs> a pilgrimage? No, we would be pilgrimaging to the wrong god. A university visit? Could do that. That's kind of interesting. Jalaga. Washington, -na. Chapel Hill. Boston. Yeah, we could go to the land of the... Like, this is the heart of... Of our husband's territory, isn't it? Let's, let's make sure I'm right about that. This is... This is where the, uh... Yeah, this is where the chowder folk are from. Do we want to go and visit the chowder folk with their strange ways? Their Mayflower faith? I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna go on a university trip. I think we are. So let's do a university visit. Down to Boston. We are going to study the nature of the deep. Books and notes. Costs 130, so we can't quite do it. Scrap parchments. We can if we do scrap parchments. If we want the book, though, we need to get up to 281. I mean, do we really have to take this seriously? <laughs> Is it really necessary to take it seriously? I think if we're going to do this, we're going to save up for the the 160. And I and when I say save up, I mean I think we're going to save up in the the raiders way, which is to say I think we're going to find some places and raid. I think we're strong enough that we can raid a little bit of tougher people now, right? You're still raided. You're still raided. I mean, if we look at the kingdom here, they probably can't stop us from raiding. I'm hungry to raid. Let's do it. We're raiding. We're raiding to go to university. Listen, this makes perfect sense, alright? And with that, Little declaration of how perfectly sensible it is to raid in order to go to university. I'm going to end this episode. Thank you very much, and I hope you join me the next time we are here in After the End, playing uh, our Fathomless Deep playthrough with our lovely High Chief Tis Grace the Brave of Long Range, and our soon-to-be true heir, Dwight O'Grace Laverty. Bye for now.